There we go. Roll. Welcome uh, to the official podcast, episode 197. Jackson today came into the call whining and complaining per usual, and he, I just want to know why. What's going on, Jackson? Well, first of all, I want the editor to uh, cut out the part where I was picking my nose for a second there after uh, the oh, clap stick. No. So oh, no. That could oh, be how embarrassing. Route, Exposed. That, Ew. That would be fantastic. And I actually did want to talk about something. Bella Thorne. Renowned oh, yeah. actor from the uh, 2015 movie Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Chip. What, what's happening with her and her nude scam, hey? I don't know. What it's are kind you of like about? old news. Who? Well, I, I, come on, man. It, it, it's not old in terms of podcast for us. It was like news five days ago. Who is this? Yeah, who? It's the you, get, you guys may know her for, for something else. She was the lady who was mean to James Allen McCune, so we don't like her. Oh, oh, fuck wait, Bella Thorne really? then. Mm, yeah, fuck her. I hope she dies James. in a ditch with yeah. Ebola and hepatitis C, but what has she done though? Like, who is she? Also, what did she yeah. do to our boy? Yeah, I, I want to know that forgetting now. Her? Also, who is that? In the nudes. There's no... Jesus Christ. You get, <laughs> what ha did you guys get hit by like the Men in Black's Neuralizer? Why did, why did none of you remember like any of this? Oh, she was Rain in Tyler Perry's Boo, a Medea Halloween. Okay. She okay, Bella. I guess I'll I'll take the reins here. Thanks, Jackson. <laughs> She's what? What? She, what? Oh, you want me to explain it? No, I'll do it. So Bella yeah. Thorne's just an actress who does a lot of shitty roles. She's not really in anything good, but she's a big time actress who found a lot of success. But she's also a very selfish asshole. James Allen McCune told us a story one time about how she was extremely rude to him in public and like shoved her way past the entire line at a Starbucks in front of him and belittled everyone or something. So ever since then, I've never liked her. Wow, that's fucked. Are you sure you're remembering it yep. correctly? Like, that yep. was definitely Bella Thorne that James yeah. was telling us about? Well, I mean, unless he just used her name as a, a cover-up <laughs> or something, I guess. <laughs> well, it could have been a different Bella Thorne. I don't, I don't think this Bella Thorne uh, scamming people on OnlyFans would do such a thing. That doesn't sound like the Bella Thorne I know. Wait, yeah. what do you mean scamming the people? The album of the chipmunks, Bella Thorne. So, what right, so basically, she she um she started charging like two hundred dollars per picture on OnlyFans, and pro I I'm not sure if she promised, but she insinuated that they were going to be nude photos. They they weren't nude photos at all. They were like soft core bikini pictures, as far as I know. She so made over were, a million dollars in twenty four hours. Two million. Oh my right? god. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, I think I heard of this. And all the like OnlyFans girls, the they were like salty and pissed off that some I don't know, there was a new hoe on the block or whatever to say. No, that they, they, they weren't pissed say. off that there was a new hoe on the on the block. It was because OnlyFans had to remove the ability for creators to set their own prices. Like there's now a maximum price, so people can't like the creators can't charge exorbitant amounts of money for Why? for nude photos. Because everyone charged back Charge after backs. they realized Bella yeah. Thorne scammed them. So, okay, then that sounds like the system worked. Everyone got their money back. What's the problem here? That's only the fans lost all of that though. money yeah. in the transfers. What do you mean? No, but it's yeah, not like it was their money to begin with. The company money. They, okay, I assume yeah, you, it you're talking about transaction them in costs. Bank fees. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, that it's an extreme amount of cost just from like sending those transactions back. It was two million dollars worth of fucking chargebacks. That's really? huge. Wait, and yeah, so they had to completely shit. In transaction costs what or in what people no, themselves that's what paid Bella? So people, yeah, that's what they paid for those those uh, pictures that they didn't get, and then they all charged back. A chargeback comes with a cost to the seller. And since mm -hmm. the seller is OnlyFans, they had to pay that price. And there were so it, many chargebacks. It didn't cost OnlyFans $2 million, though. No, it didn't. It yeah. wouldn't have been $2 million, yeah. but it's still a well, huge amount. It sounded like you just said. So I was no, just no, no, clarifying no. that. Yeah. I'm mean, now wondering anyway, how much it cost uh, them, though. So, yeah. Oh, it had, it had to be, like, I'd say, like, at least deep into, like, six, six figures, I'd say. Wow. I'd say that. Enough for them to make sweeping changes to their monetization um, system, where now people can't charge however much they want. Now there's a limit. Which, to be fair, nobody should be charging, uh, you know, hundreds of, I don't know how much it was, like hundreds of dollars, $200 a picture. 
That, that sounds pretty insane. Disagree. If you have those, like, big honking milkers, I'd say that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, if you can get it, why not? If, if you can scam people like that, fuck it. It's no different. I mean, if it was like a, if it was selling to one person, I could understand that. But when you're selling to thousands of different people, surely the economies of scale kicks in and you lower your prices. No, it should make have it available to. to the common man. I'm thinking about it. If they had been actual nudes, there's there would have been plenty of men out there to give her a million bucks for it. People have money, man. People pay way more for like furry porn. They got money. They just were pissed off, I guess, that she wasn't actually nude in them. Which is fair. I, I think if she promised uh, nudity for $200, she should have at least popped a titty out. Which yeah. she has done multiple times on yeah, other which platforms. Is a, uh, yeah, I, th I, th <laughs> I thought she was definitely like naked in a lot of her pictures just on Instagram yeah. or anything like that. Like I've d I feel like I've definitely seen her naked for free in the past. <laughs> so why were people paying? You're right. underestimating the lengths that people will go to to get like porn but it was already available doesn't matter just the dangling porn in people's faces for anything just causes them to pay for everything yeah sorry i'm trying to read like, this think about it even if even if you've seen her pop a titty out or she's put like i don't know the nude here or there a crayon up her their, ass their brain is always gonna go to like the most risque place like well if she's saying advertising these nudes, she'll like be putting fireworks in her pussy. That's the coolest shit or I don't know, more hardcore shit. It's what people want. But she went the direct opposite. Well, that's her fucking fault. And we can only blame her for that. And now everyone pays the price. Hmm. But yeah, I I've never like liked her since the James Allen McCune thing. Yeah, I don't I even know like who she is and I don't like her. A lot of those OnlyFans uh, girls, creators, like... like uh, Jackson, what's, what's with your volume? Your voice is getting, like, loud and quiet back and forth for some reason. It might be my... Well, it's obviously my microphone. Let me have a look. You guys go on. Yeah, you're getting... You're, like, falling away into nothing. No, I don't hear him at all. So, uh, apparently, OnlyFans claimed that it wasn't Bella... Uh, that she wasn't the reason for them to make this change, but I don't believe that. It was very obviously Bella Thorne that caused this. There's mm. absolutely nothing else. <laughs> they said that the new restrictions were intended to prevent overspending, adding we can confirm that any changes to transaction limits are not based on any one user. She was a Disney star. Doubt. Overspending? <laughs> what? That yeah, doesn't I make mean, sense it's... to me. No, it doesn't make any sense, and this is... That's how you know it's a lie. The fucking pimp telling the Johns that, oh, yeah, you know, I'm just worried that you're overspending on my prostitutes, man. Just, you know, I'm looking out for you. I don't <laughs> want you spending too much on these girls. Yeah, sure. Mm. Okay. Holy shit, you're at a million bucks in a single day. It's impressive. Why, though? Does this woman really have such a big following? Is she that famous? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, no, she's, she's pussy. Yeah. She's very big. Holy shit. I had no idea. For someone I've never heard of. Look, she's literally only acted in terrible productions. I don't think she's been in something even remotely decent. What are you talking about? It does surprise about? me that she was able to get that much attention for her OnlyFans in one day. I didn't think there would be that much of a demand for her. Especially since she had been shown naked previously. Charlie, what are you talking about? This is the woman who starred in Fuck Me Fire Truck. What? What? Yeah, the short film movie? Fuck Me Fire Truck, starring Bella Thorne. It sounds pretty good. I'm surprised I haven't seen it's, that one. It's described on IMDb as a woman sexually plays with a toy fire truck. <laughs> that is the entire description. Pretty accurate. Yeah. Well, as advertised, I suppose. It's got a 4.5 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, I That's bet she's going to fuck the fire truck in it. She does, is she naked in it, Andrew? Uh, she wears like a very tight latex fireman outfit thing. So, I guess. So, did she get to keep the money, or how does it work? Yeah, so I think... I, I don't think she got to keep the money, because OnlyFans pays it out. It, it goes... You pay OnlyFans, and then OnlyFans pays creators after a certain period. 
And since everything got charged back, I don't think she ever even saw the money. Mm, okay. Well, there's that. Which at is least. good. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm bored of reading of this now. I get the gist. Okay. Well, <laughs> OnlyFans is lying. Bella Thorne is a cunt, and I'm sure the like the most of the reason all those women were angry was the, probably that they got outdone by some random actress, a shitty actress who made a million bucks well, in a more single you, day. Yeah, no, I think the it's entire such, side. Yeah, yeah, that they lost that too. money because that of too, it. But you, you can't tell me that they weren't at least a little bit salty about this and jealous. Go on. No, the more people that get onto OnlyFans, the better it is yeah. for everyone on OnlyFans. How big is that anyway at, at this point? Is it like Twitch? <laughs> Probably not to that level, but it's pretty fucking big. Have there been any Twitch booby streamers who've openly admitted to just switching to OnlyFans? I feel like that's the just a smart thing that OnlyFans did. They basically just told booby streamers, say, just drop the act, stop body painting and come on OnlyFans and actually just strip for money. It's easier. You don't have to pretend and we won't ban you. I wonder if any Twitch streamers took them up on that. A lot of people start in OnlyFans. A, a big, this isn't OnlyFans, but there's a big channel on YouTube called Naked Bakers, where it's softcore porn baking on YouTube, but their Patreon is just full on baking naked porn, <laughs> and their entire <laughs> channel is set up just to promote that. It's, it's pretty cute. <laughs> it's kind of not clever. exactly the same thing, but pretty close. How much do they charge? I don't know. I didn't check their Patreon. So what you're telling me is that this bitch could have just showed a little nipple action and she would have been a millionaire. Yeah, well, I mean, she's already she's deep, already a millionaire. Very deeply yeah, well. a millionaire, but she could have made two million dollars in that day. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice little tip on top. Two million dollars yeah. is nothing to sneer at if, you know, all, you, all it takes is to show your tits. Man, I looked at Naked Baker's channel again. It is crazy, like, the kind of views they'll just get out of nowhere. This is called How to Make Buffalo Cauliflower, 11 million views, and it's because her nipples are poking out of her shirt in the thumbnail <laughs> to promote the Patreon. It's 58 seconds long. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah, she got 11 million oh, views they, in one fucking week. Holy shit. And they do have an OnlyFans, actually. So, yeah, of course they sense. do. Wow, well, you can actually see the algorithm at work here. The thumbnails that have like her titties in them, for the most part, they get millions and millions of views. She's got a video on how to make white chocolate cookies. It's got like seventeen thousand views because it's just a picture of the cookies. She's not even in it. <laughs> well, wait, <laughs> is that the algorithm in work then, or is it just people? I, I, well, because well, look at the video right after the cookies one. It's got her titties in the thumbnail. Yeah, it's but got does five the algorithm? Views. Does the algorithm just <laughs> promote tits is it, like is uh, there some kind of deep learning it's system definitely part of it where it's, tits are and then promote it so what, what would probably happen is youtube's algorithm recommends the video or has it show up in searches or this and that and then people look at it and go ah tits and they're more likely to click it than the fucking cookies one yeah, yeah so cookie, I, I, <laughs> cookie I ones really took it down yeah <laughs> they really made a poor design choice on that thumbnail i'll say that much yeah, they, they just, just put tits guy. in every thumbnail then <laughs> Huh. That's wow, clever. Although I don't know who, who would be the audience for this. Like obese what the men fuck holding do you naked. <laughs> <laughs> specifically? It's just I, naked it, baking, so it's just a front for being nude on YouTube. Who loves, it has to be a, who loves food, Kyle? Charlie, that's the most Pretty genuine much what the fuck I've heard you say in years. Well, yeah. You know what I've heard? So is, is she not? Because a lot of it just seems to be fast food. I thought maybe she's playing into the obese market or something. No, it's like just a fat, it's greasy really burger naked. and a woman. It's the is fat. Is she hot? She's got she a nice body. body. She doesn't show her face. Yeah, she's got a nice body, though. Like, she, she could easily get away with being successful doing things naked. Now, does she incorporate <laughs> food into the, like, into the eroticism of it? Like, does she... No. She literally uh, just makes mediocre food. Like, here she's carving a pumpkin that looks like shit, but she's completely <laughs> naked. Oh, yeah. If it works, it's a pretty good idea, I guess. Yeah, it's smart. That's, a, she, that's allowed yeah, on YouTube. She doesn't even put effort into it. A lot of these now are re-uploaded TikToks. Like, she doesn't even re-edit them or anything. <laughs> she just uploads the TikTok as is to YouTube. <laughs> well, again, if it works, it works. Yeah. Hey, I don't blame it, man. Sex sells. 
Like people, people say that they're burned out on sex. For Nobody says a lot that. Of, well, like they're tired of fan service and stuff, you know, yeah. like there's always complaints about everything where it's like, oh, I can't believe this woman is a super hot woman in this show or God, I'm so tired of shows where it's just tits and this and that, but it still works. It still makes a shitload of money. It always will. Yeah. Never going to stop. Yeah, same with violence. It's, it's a shame that you can't really do that as a man. Like, you can't just, like, flop your cock out while cooking because <laughs> no one's going to want to watch that. It's going to actively make people not watch it. Yep. True. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can. You might get a gay audience, but that's it. Like, you're not going to get the opposite sex, yeah. that's for sure. No one cares. That's Dick the, signs um, very pretty to look at. The dick market is oversaturated. That's the reason that's that, the that issue. most shows don't, like, show men kissing because it, it's the whole thing with, like, men are just not sexy. So a lot of shows will have what? like women kissing if they. Oh. So it was this like big study where a lot sexy, of. Andrew. Oh, That's of course incorrect. they can, but I'm I'm saying in advertising and entertainment, like tons of shows that are like mature, like Game of Thrones and shit, they'll show women kissing all the time, and it's like, man, women kissing is fucking hot and it's great, and I like this show even more. But then you show men kissing and like people. They find it weird. Uh, I'm pretty sure there were a whole bunch of male sex scenes in Game of Thrones. What about Game of Thrones is a bad example, but there are, there's plenty of shows that show what I'm talking well, about. Well, Andrew, Andrew's right. obviously right. Every everyone, you know, even the most ardent homophobe loves lesbians. They can't fucking fool exactly. Me. Come on, it's it's this thing where oh no, it's a sin, it's an affront to God, and, and then you look at the guy's fucking browser history and you can tell that you know he where, considers lesbians to be different. Where does that come from? Even what? I mean, why, even why even is there women such an are like uh, to like lesbians or I'm sorry, because like, they're awesome. Uh, ge- even well, yeah, even think, think how many yeah, um, <laughs> yeah they are because they're I fucking get rad, dude. <laughs> but what is what is what the are you instinct? Gay? <laughs> what is the instinct? Because you, every every guy loves it for obvious reasons, but like, where does it come from? Because you can't fuck him. That's that's like, you my can't uh, yourself in there. That's my just whole watch. point, Jackson. Like women, women are just inherently way sexier than men. Even straight women are like, yeah, lesbians are kind of hot. Yeah, I'm maybe down it's with not lesbians. women. Then maybe it's us. Maybe it's just male testosterone that makes women sexy. <laughs> oh, you us. think? I, th- I think it's. I think it's more the reverse, where it's estrogen makes things sexy. So it's like women, because even 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 straight even gay men think lesbians are hot. Like it's just hot. Lesbians are just great. Yeah. Wait, how do we get here? Who cares? Let's <laughs> make it bakers, baby. <laughs> that's, that's where it came from. <laughs> we profess our love for lesbians like almost every five episodes or so. They deserve it. Yeah. For God real, bless you, lesbians. <laughs> if you're a lesbian and you're listening, keep up the good work. <laughs> Send Andrew picks. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want them. Oh, bullshit, Andrew. Oh, I, yeah, I don't all want, want to them. get involved. Bullshit. Uh, we do, but I, I don't ever want fans <laughs> to send me that shit. <laughs> uh. Well, you know what else is great, Andrew? Yeah. Okay, then tell Three us. Three lesbians. <laughs> Good segue. Segu- staying hydrated. <laughs> staying hydrated is great. And there are lots of ways to stay hydrated throughout the day. You could have a favorite brand of bottled water. You could have filtered water. You could drink tap water. Or you could step it up and stop just drinking water to stay hydrated. Because with liquid IV, you will have the fastest, most efficient way to stay hydrated. Each serving of liquid IV helps you get hydrated as much as two to three bottles of water. Proper hydration is crucial for your immune system and can boost your immunity. With Liquid IV, you have the fastest, most efficient way to stay hydrated. One serving of Liquid IV provides the same hydration as two to three bottles of water and also contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange and as much potassium as a banana. Healthier than sugary sports drinks, no artificial flavors or preservatives, and less sugar than an apple. Clean ingredients, vegan and free of gluten. Liquid IV also tastes pretty dang good. Good. I happen to have a three-pack sampler pack myself. I've tried two of them. 
And both times I went, yeah, it's not bad. I also was uh, looking into this a little bit. Apparently, Liquid IV, one of their motivations to make a delicious hydration drink, was looking at Pedialyte and saying, ah, that drink's made for kids. Why don't we make like an adult hydration beverage? One for one for big boys, one for men. One that's like, you know, super yummy and doesn't come from the fucking children's section. So I thought that that was interesting and nice. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water is all that you need to hydrate and have a tasty, refreshing beverage. Liquid IV is available nationwide at Costco and Target, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code OFFICIAL at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code OFFICIAL at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today at liquidiv.com, promo code OFFICIAL. Once again, a powder you put in your drink, stir it around, and then you have a refreshing beverage that will keep you hydrated in. I don't know. Alive. It's, it's pretty yummy. I tasted it. I think it's pretty good. Pretty good if you're hungover. It'd be good. Yeah, I was going to say, it'd be good for hangovers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Hy hydration drinks like this. A lot of, a lot of people think that... Uh, Hangover cures are bullshit like hair of the dog or a big fulling breakfast. Nah, man. Hangovers mostly are caused by dehydration. So if you replenish mm -hmm. your electrolytes and pop that shit back in your system, your hangover usually helps. Helps a lot. Little pro tip, chug a lot of it before you like pass out. Yes. <laughs> it's usually best to drink it before you fall asleep as well, because then you'll wake up feeling way better. Mm hmm. So having said that, 25% off anything you order at liquidiv.com with promo code OFFICIAL. Nice. All right. Boys, I wanted to bring up a fun announcement I found. Did you know that Fall Guys on PlayStation 4 has made more profit than The Last of Us 2 on PlayStation 4? That's pretty big. I think I that's fucking it. great. I'm so proud. I'm really happy about Wait, that. Wait, isn't it free? No. No, it's you not. Oh, yeah. It's like $15. Sure. No, it's free. It's free oh. on PlayStation. No, but it's still made more money in sales than, than Last How? of Us 2. Oh. How? It's free on PlayStation. Because Fall Guys is a good game and Last of Us 2 isn't. Yeah, but what I'm saying is... What's no, that a, you edge lord. Oh, I guess you can buy microtransactions. You can buy right? microtransactions, and I think you can still buy the game if you don't have the... It's can't you still buy it if you don't have it on the subscription service? It's only free if you get it through PS Plus. So maybe the profit comes from people that don't have PS Plus and just bought it. That might That's be what it is. Hmm. But it is then you wouldn't game. be able to even play the game because you need PS Plus to play it yeah, online. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's so all they going out of their way to then? double buy it then. Like they they've got it already on PS Plus, but they're buying it to keep it. Maybe I don't know. That's still insane. Are you sure you read the? Article, yeah, right? let me Maybe find the article again. I found it a couple no, of days read, ago. I read that too. It's true, as far as I know. Well, it's a good game. So yeah, I'm I mean, Fall. It's the idea is Fall Guys has made just a dick ass load of money to the point where like it completely eclipsed Last of Us Two on PlayStation. Let me try to find it. Aww. Very deserving game of it. They seem like a, a nice, commu a nice group of developers. They listen. It's a good game. I'm happy for them. Yeah, it's a good game. It's fun. I don't mind I just that find it funny that uh, it's a fucking game made by a small dev team in like a year. And then The Last of Us 2 is such a big hype fucking thing and Fall Guys blows it out of the water. No, yeah, but I mean, everyone can play Fall Guys. The Last of Us, I guess. That's true. I don't know. It's only for intellectuals. No, that would, well, I would definitely wouldn't say that. <laughs> it's, it's for people who enjoy <laughs> art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more it's of a cinematic variety. thing, whereas Fall Guys is just, it's a party game, basically. It's fun. Everyone, it's a game that everyone can own and enjoy. Yeah, it's for the commoners. Well, that's The sort people of who insulting. don't understand true art and, and well-written characters and zombies. Bumble up, up, up. Amen! <laughs> so I wonder if this is really going to solidify Sony's stance that after The Last of Us came out, I think, or maybe it was Spider-Man, they said that 
AAA games like that might not be in the future anymore because they just cost way too much produce to produce and you know they just don't make enough money. They still make a buttload of money, but just not enough to justify the expenses. So maybe Sony's just gonna stick to games like this, maybe. Well, maybe. I would I hope so. Only time I, will tell. I mean, I mean, it's it, it's the horror movie argument where yeah, you could have the big blockbusters and put a lot of money in, or you could just fire out a bunch of much smaller budget things, and then if just one of them is as successful, you've already made way, way more money doing that. So you have The Last of Us 2 and you have Fall Guys. Last of Us 2 say it has a budget of $100 million. If it makes $200 million, then great. You made back double your budget. Fall Guys has a budget of, like, $2 million, and if it makes $200 million, congrats. You made 100 times your budget and paid for a bunch of other $2 million games. So I, I'm very much on board of the idea of just firing out much smaller, more streamlined games as opposed to big budget things. I, I mean, think any... there's room for both. Yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. Charlie, would you like to back up your <laughs> argument? You seem very passionate about it. I only like games that are good. Jackson, your counterpoint? Well, I only like games that are good. Kaya, your third point that will make them both agree? I think both had some decent arguments. I can see where <laughs> both of you are coming from. Good games are good. Mm. Not, none whoa, of us whoa, can whoa. deny I didn't that. Say that. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I disagree. Hmm. Firmly disagree. Okay, then I am. Well, Jackson, some, what would you some say? bad games can be good. What would you say good games are then? Uh, they, they're games that make you feel good inside. Yeah, then they're good. You know when you, you know the feeling when you've got a smile on your face, Andrew. That's how I envision a good game. A smile okay. on Andrew's face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's only a good game if I'm smiling. <laughs> okay, and that's that's what a good game is. Where are we? <laughs> you were making an argument about something and whining. I don't know. <laughs> it was something you did. Is there anything you'd like to say, Jackson? Uh, I apologize. I feel like this bit has gone on too long. Did you guys see that one streamer or YouTuber who made a little vlog about how he's sick of tryhards and fall guys? That was TikTok, but yeah. TikTok, mm -hmm. sorry. Well, yeah. excuse me. I didn't mean disrespect. Well, what do you, how do you guys feel about that? Did we talk about this? Like this... For those who have not seen it, this was some streamer or some dude who he was watching someone else's stream playing Fall Guys and the person playing Fall Guys was really, really good at it, I think. And this TikToker was getting mad because, you know, the person was trying too much and it ruins the fun for everyone else because there's only a select few group of people who win every match. And what's the point of even having fun in games if you now have to train for them? And <laughs> you can't even win anymore and all that sort of stuff. Opinions? Tryhards in games? I mean, that's the funny thing, though. He He's just completely misunderstanding the Battle Royale format. It's like not every single game is going to have people like that. In fact, the majority of games don't have people like that. Just play another game if someone's really good at it. Queue up again. That's all there is to it. What an idiot. Yeah, just whining for the sake of whining. Yeah. He, you can tell he's the kind of guy where he was playing the game and he wasn't getting his wins. He wasn't getting his epic battle Fortnite royales. So mm. after after a couple hours of that, he was just like, look at this. It's not fair. That's not me. So he made his big stupid rant because he was frustrated at the game and he wasn't just winning. It's kind of paradoxical then, though, because then that like that means that he cares. He He's a try. Huh? Yeah, it's it's super really hypocritical because mm. the point is that he wants to be that person. He just wants to get wins. It's it's the argument for every like big game when uh, the new Call of Duty came out. They introduced, and I think it's still there, like soft matchmaking, where there wasn't really a hard rank in the game, but it was like, all right, we'll look at your last couple games and we'll pair you against other players 
similar to like how you're doing in the game. So that way, you know, you're playing people on your skill level and the amount of people complaining since day one going, this ruins the game. Call of Duty is supposed to be a casual shooter. I can't enjoy the game anymore because every single lobby I play, everyone's trying super hard. It's like, number one, they just want to be paired in easy lobbies with fucking clueless kids and idiots every single time so they can quick steamroll the game. And number two, if you're that concerned about it, just throw a couple games. Then you'll get paired with worse people. Hmm. That's it. Yeah, but they don't want to throw games. Against the spirit of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they're whiny. Is it really a big deal? Like, fuck. Of course it is. They want a challenge. It's my video games and I have to win. (laughs) Hmm. That's a fair point. I know I'm, I can't be the only one in this, and it sounds it's gonna make me sound super casual, which I am. But I've played Fall Guys, and I've enjoyed it, even though I've not won a single full match. I've won the individual rounds, but it's still Pathetic. fun to Pussy. me. Like the, I know, I'm not a real gamer, but I mean, to me, it just <laughs> I don't get that angry that I fucking fail. It just makes me laugh the way I fail. You know, it's just it's a funny game. It's like Takeshi's that's, Castle. That's basically. the fucking point. Yeah, right. That is I literally mean, that's the point of the sort game. Of the, as a streamer or YouTuber, whoever you are playing, this isn't kind of the point that it's a goofy game and even the way you lose can be funny if somebody pushes you off a platform. Isn't that like, that's still fun. It's all in good spirits. Do you really have to get mad if you don't win the match, the complete match? Video games aren't supposed to be fun anymore, Kaya. It's about being the best. If you don't yeah. have a hundred crowns, get the fuck away from if me, it's, bro. If it's a <laughs> single player game, it's about sending a message. And if it's a multiplayer game, it's about winning. There are no other reasons to play video games now. That's it. Mm. Also, Kai, you don't have to, like, preface yourself on playing Fall Guys. I love the shit out of the game. It's like the only game I want to stream lately. I think it's excellent. I play it constantly. <laughs> it is an extremely good game. Yeah. yeah, it is fun. It's a great concept. Like I guess I, I think we all can agree that the Takeshi's Castle mode. thing. Not a story mode, but what I wish was that it wasn't a, it didn't force you into a battle royale it would be nice if it had just like a private lobby mode where you could play with your friends mm. that would be great yeah if you could make friends i, I don't always want to just play with 60 other people whose names i can't even tell apart or anything i don't know who's who but there's a bunch the, of faceless um, little beans they should add voice chat this the game needs oh, two God. things to live to live on forever it needs private lobbies so that streamers can like and money have well, yeah, it, it needs private lobbies so either people can play with their friends explicitly or streamers can, like, play with their audience, and it needs custom game modes or yeah, level editors. Levels. If it gets level those editors. two things, the game will live forever. That's all yeah. it needs. Level editors would the be only, awesome. The only thing I can see stopping them from putting in, like, a level editor or whatever is then, like, what happens when they want to sell a map pack or something or a season mm. pass. Well, they can just well, still do they that. they say they all can... the... Um, Seasons are going to be free. I thought they said that all the updates to the game would be free anyway. I don't know. Plus, I mean, they've they already made wanna... like. Go ahead, Kai. I was going to say, if they still want to sell map packs, they can simply introduce new objects or something that are exclusive to the developer team that only they had access to and sure. only they can yeah. sell. Yeah. yeah. Or they can, they make can any just money make it anyway. so. To, hmm? And also, like, to just hop in quick play, it's only the developer's map, so if they release a map pack and you don't have yeah. a whole bunch of friends to play with, you're that's, going to be playing their map packs. That's a really mm-hmm. good point. You could make uh, custom maps like private servers only. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, I even then, though, they're definitely not in the position where they need to do it. I believe it's a five-man team, and they've already made, I think, what, seven, eight million dollars off of sales or something ridiculous. So there's not, not a huge they need for them more. to make up they've, more. They've probably, absolutely yeah. made more. Yeah, that's the, not. They probably have seven million up. individual sales of the seven, game. That might seven, be eight million sounds like you know. something The Last of Us would have made within the first few hours of release. These yeah. guys must have. I'm must probably be. misreading numbers here and there, but the the only point on that I'm making is that they've made an absolute ass load of money right now. So I don't think that the team is like, oh fuck, we need this map pack so we can keep the studio open or pay our employees. Mm. You know. They can just do whatever they want now. That's pretty cool. So to switch gears real quick, Charlie, what's this everyone in the chat is talking about, about your exposer? I know you asked me about it, but I don't yeah. know what happens and why. Yeah, so I asked Kaya if he'd saved that video that you boys remember from like a year ago, where the guy made the video about me being a Zionist shill and a normalizing porn, <laughs> white shirt, Satanism and whatever. Uh, I had the urge to watch that video again, but the channel had got deleted. 
But it turns oh. out he's still on YouTube with the, his rants and everything. So then people found it. And then he made a part two because people started talking about it. I haven't seen part two yet. I watched some of the live stream, but I haven't bothered to watch the video. But Did you have anything to do with taking his channel down? No, I never even made it anything talking about it until... Mm, that's uh, suspicious to me. Did yeah. he have any other call-out videos against any other Zionists? His whole channel was dedicated to Wait. exposing so, Zio Media, remember? Hang on, hang on, hang on. How long is the video that he made? The part two? Yeah. It's like 50-something minutes. Jesus, oh, Jesus holy Christ. Fuck. That's a, Charlie, okay, how that's much a of a Zionist manifesto. are you? Holy shit. Yeah, what, what have you been <laughs> yeah, up what to? The hell? <laughs> I, could, I couldn't tell you. I'm just, something about that white shirt or something. I don't know. Spirit cooking. Um, okay, so how about this? Can one of you link me the video and how about we do a it's quick like chat. life? I think that was just a screenshot, wasn't it? No, that's the video. No, that's the video. Ah, yeah. okay. Thank you. So do you guys want to do like a little li life listening for the first 10 minutes life rebuttal here charlie uh, it's kind of long i think the first 10 minutes is more spent towards like whining if i remember right because like i said i was in the stream i like a lot of whining i mean all right well before uh, before we start listening to yeah. it i think we should mm -hmm. get everyone else to listen about something else don't you guys think tell me to Agreed. What? Well, if you're listening to this podcast, you have a lot of different choices for how you listen to it. You might have some some speakers that you got at a bargain bin, maybe a garage sale. Maybe you've got some earbuds that came with your phone. And it's like, yeah, I guess those work. You can hear us. You can maybe understand everything. But if you want premium wireless earbuds, well, the recommendation I've got is Raycon. Because Raycon's newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are the best ones yet. With over six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, a compact design, and noise-isolating fit, Raycon earbuds are some of the nicest, highest quality earbuds you will find on the market. They are stylish and discreet, with no dangling wires or stems, and they were co-founded by Ray J., a man who knows his music. You can give Raycon a try. They have a 45-day free return policy. So if you put them in your ears and for some reason, I can't explain how this would happen, but for some reason, you listen to Raycon earbuds and go, eh, nah, I'm not feeling it. Nah, it's not for me. You can return them with that 45-day policy. Mm. And then you can make sure to find the pair just for you. Raycon has different options available on their website. And if you go to their website for a limited time, you can get 15% off your order at mm -hmm. buyraycon.com slash OP. That's buyraycon.com slash OP for a special 15% discount on Raycon wireless earbuds. Make sure to check it out now while the deal is still running. That is buyraycon.com slash OP. The E25s are super these. solid, but they do have uh, they do have a couple other models. Yeah, I wanted to point that out. Go ahead, Kaya. I was going to say, I've tried like pretty much every wireless headphones that what they call them is now true wireless, where the two individual buds, they are truly wireless uh, to your phone. And and I've tried the big brands, the genuinely multiple hundreds of dollars brands, and these are, they sound equivalent, if not better, and they fit way more comfortably than some of the other brands out there. Because I don't know why the companies do this, but they are always huge and they just, they either will hurt your ears, or fatigue them after a while, or they just fucking fall out because they're somehow just, the, the shape is wrong. Raycons have, for me, just been the most comfortable. I, I usually use them when I go for a walk or if I work out, which is really important to me. I don't want them to fall out while I'm skipping rope or something. So I would recommend them. Like Andrew said, you can return them if you don't like them for whatever reason, but you should definitely give them a shot for 15% off with our promo code official so they know that we sent you. Now, if it's got everyone, a return policy and it's, it's convenient, there's really no reason not to try it. I mean, I've also got a pair of Raycons. They're solid. I dig them. Pretty right. good wireless earbuds. Okay, everyone, enough of this. Are we ready to expose Ch Charlie the Zionist? I'm, I'm ready, ready whatever. Yes. Okay. Jeff C here. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Hey. Did you get out of Hey, Jeff C. 
<laughs> you had to do okay, he's slow. Anyway, do you remember uh, penguins? Like though? I said, it's very slow. Yeah. No, probably not. Eh? Penguins though, I don't. He's pretty popular on YouTube. Penguin Zoe, that's right. Good old today. Penguin Zoe. They're you classic. immediately know they don't know who you are when they say Penguin <laughs> Zoe. Yesterday, I just found out about it today. Whatever. Right. Um, and, uh, yeah, he seems like he's obsessed because I made some video about him <laughs> years ago. I, I, You're the one I upset. This motherfucker. He seems like he's obsessed, so here's my 50-minute rant on why he's obsessed. <laughs> you don't get it. I haven't been able to stop thinking about Jeff's insightful video from over a year ago. I've been up sleepless nights. <laughs> you do sound resentful, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, it, it, not not this guy who's weighing on me heavily. Two hours worth of fucking content on you at this point, just itching for it. But l let's see. Can you a bit? Can you so, turn it up a bit, Kai? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you bet. Uh, he's been searching everywhere for it, trying to find it, and uh, <laughs> and I looked. I did. Penguin Zoe. I looked on my channel. I can't find it anywhere. Uh, Aww, I don't know what he happened. tried. <laughs> Probably YouTube. I don't know, ask YouTube what they do with it because they delete my videos like. Every single day, I get videos taken. Okay, you know what? This get guy's to talking the to about too much. Yeah, how yeah. about... Let's see, I'm gonna... Okay, give me a random minute, and I'll skip to it. Go to something kind of deep, like 15 or 16... Or Jesus, it, yeah, do 15 or 16. That's probably when he right. starts. 15 it is. Why do, you, why do you think his videos get deleted? Do you think he's just saying He that literally called for a genocide in one of his videos a while back. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the question stands. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what's wrong with Charlie here. Why Why what is YouTube hell? censoring I mean, this, this band? From yesterday? And you're that obsessed? Do you know oh, what still on the obsession? Is, by any chance? <laughs> yes. I want to check that out. Because you're not important to me at all. Like, at all. I don't really know. <gasps> <gasps> <anything. gasps> How can and you go you, on living? Like, not even yesterday's news. You're, you're like a non-entity. You're just some douchebag with a oh. YouTube channel. That oh! Whoa! Whoa! Irrelevant. Is that an ad hominem? Is Growy Josepha. Oh, oh I, I don't know what just, the fuck that is. Quick note to anyone listening, this video is called Penguin Zero Exposed Part 2. By the way, also want to note, this guy is called Supreme Lord Commander. If you ever hear this, you're welcome to come oh, on the show, cool. because I really want to pick your brain and hear why. That's not some dumb name like Penguin Zoe, though. So yeah, His name is true. too fucking cool. Supreme Lord Commander? <laughs> it's like, damn it. Supreme Gentleman Elliot Roger. All right, let's continue. I mean, you're just another. <laughs> just another. Yeah. Another what? I know. I'm trying to be polite, anyways. <laughs> oh, this is polite. <laughs> <laughs> he just couldn't think of anything. No, 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 no. I'm above this. Oh, uh, and then he plays your video, and then I'm gonna skip you because it's gonna be awkward if it's your voice playing yeah. here. Like I said, he... I watched some of the live stream. It was him clapping at his own points from his initial video. That, he, that's what makes it a strong point. He's got he, an audience there. <laughs> he's no proof of his arguments. So to expose you, as he's listening to, he pauses your video, and now he's Googling Freemasons. Is there something you want to tell yeah. us, Charlie? Oh, yes, so actually, be, pause it real quick, Kaya. I can, mm -hmm. I can tell you. Uh, he was saying that it's not a conspiracy because there's so many triangles. If you look at the logo for Google Play and all this, everything comes to a triangle representing oh. the Freemasons and the Illuminati. Ah. So that's what you're seeing. Ah. I saw this part. Well, are the Freemasons like the Illuminati? Is that the same thing? They're the triangles, remember. Jackson. Keep so. up. Yeah, they're they're triangle. Something about a triangle. What? The Illuminati is the triangle people. Everything's a triangle, Jackson. Everything comes back to triangles, Jackson. Were you paying attention at all? Do you think? Do you think like a square would blow this dude's mind? <laughs> <laughs> you show him a different shape and fucking cream oh, his pants. Is that why like Charlie is the supreme evil because he's a Zionist because the Jewish star has like two triangles within one another? Holy fuck, that's a no, lot. Are you going too deep, Kaya? No. Oh my god. So like, all those play buttons. That are makes like, almost too much sense. They're like half a star of David. It's like they're concealing half it's their power It's a triangle power sideways. Oh my god. What side is even up on a triangle? This guy is gonna about, uh, about to blow the case. So, someone, Kitsune in our Patreon chat said, go to 3420, so... Alright, let's see what, uh, what Genius he has to say. Conspiracy, A-O-L, symbol... <laughs> I crazy, He's good. conspiracy, ferrets, crazy, crazy, seeing triangles and all this stuff all over the place. 
So America <laughs> Online, which was the first, and then we go back and we see the Freemasons. Oh, a history movie, lesson. Right? <laughs> How about this one, uh, Penguin Zoe? We'll put in. Uh, what would you say? <laughs> There's so many of them, though, eh? We'll say. Uh, so, also, I, I always. Um, it always weirds me out when people say that these secret societies hide their symbols in plain sight. Because if. Why? If they were truly that sinister and secretive and really want to stay in the shadows and manipulate society, why would they put their fucking hashtags and gang signs all over the place? I know that if I ran a secret gang, I wouldn't put my logo in the software or whatever the fuck I use or create. Or they movies. can't help it because they're reptilians. They're, they can't help but show the triangles. It's a symbol of power. There's also it's brand always, awareness. There's always going to be a way to <laughs> rationalize it too, where it's, they, it's control, Kyle. What are you going to do about it? They're taunting you. The Ooh, Stonemasons launching the, team came up with it, goddammit. Challenging mm. the intellectuals like Jeff. Yeah, it, he's the only face. one who sees it, but we don't because we're blind to the truth. Mm. Keep uh, playing it, Kaya. This is the part I was talking about. He's Googled okay. AOL, now he's Googling Google Play, right? Uh, I think so. Let's see. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Play uh, Satanic. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, really? There is no confirmation bias here. Literally, Google's Google Play Satanic. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a triangle there. You can, you can see it now, right? You could say... Uh, it, it's true. There is a triangle and oh, there's a whatever the fuck um, semen use to, you know, Masonic calculate their routes or whatever. Android what is it? product store, Apple product store. There's your Masonic symbolism, right? And you have the Mason yeah, okay. on the mail. Mm -hmm. The fuck? You have the what does any of this have to do here. with you, you again? The triple six Nothing. Six, six. Oh, yeah. What? Wait. So what the fuck does that have to do with Charlie? Do you are you a triangle? I'm not what is going on? He's is, an investor in Google Play. Are you a triangle body? What is going on? I couldn't tell you, but I gotta I gotta say, you can't argue with the proof, Kaya. You've seen it. You've seen the triangles and the six six six. Yeah. You've seen he, it now. He makes good points. There are triangles in the AOL logo, and that convinces me of everything yeah, he's saying. Nothing he says is factually untrue. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's what concerns me. He's mm. like I said. He's he really could be onto something here. Well, he does make a point, but okay, I, I don't really see a point in playing all this after all. But all he does from the thumbnails I'm seeing here is Google logos, and then he sees corners and you know polygons and the logos. And he's like, ah, oh, as you can see, here's a star. Here's a you know the Freemasons used stars. But I don't know how that ties into you. I'd like to actually watch. Can we watch this video for like movie night or something, or stream it together? Just invite him on the show if you want, man. He can tell it yeah, to us. Yeah, I want to. No, I Lord Supreme cool. Commander, Supreme Lord Commander. Sorry, didn't mean to mistitle you there. You're welcome. Um, I don't know if he has a Twitter. He does Free Radio Revolution. Okay. But take it easy on us, all right? We're not nearly up yeah. to your level of intellectualism. Dumb, dumb it down a couple levels when you come on. Make sure that like we understand all your points very clearly. Mm -hmm. oh, he Don't go over me. our head. Remember, we're we're basic tier entry level with all this stuff. So he follows me, which probably means that I am a Freemason. Um, his, Do you think he has a publicist we have to reach out to to organize this? Jeff C has been no, exposing the government stripped them of it. His uh, biography says, says Jeff C has been exposing media psyops for years, known worldwide for his work on fake news reports. Oh, he news me too. Such a cool name. Free Radio Revolution at Supreme Lord Commander. He has a Patreon. Wow. This guy's prolific. Wow. I uh, want to thank you, Supreme Lord Commander, for following me on Twitter and all my tweets about, like, anime characters I've jacked off to and shit. Doing God's work. Oh, what the fuck? He messaged me last year. What? What, what is going on? What did he say? Um, hey there, this is Jeff Censored. I have a lot of comments asking me to come on your podcast on Penguin Z. <laughs> I video. have a lot of information about Charlie that I want to kill you. <laughs> I would be it's just a dossier. I would be happy to take part. Just let me know date time, and I'll let you know if I can make it. Thanks. Okay. So, but this was last year in May. So this guy was, has always been down. I just never saw this message. Sorry, Jeff. So I'll say, um, hey man, that's some spook. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna be condescending. I was gonna say that's some spooky shit you just revealed about my friend. I'm kind of worried. Do you want to come on? But, um, <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we just saw your new video on penguin zo and wanted to Ugh. ask if you'd be down to come on our podcast one of these days 
All right, there we go. Message sent. Okay. But I really want him on. I love people like this. I love people like this. Harden, all just conspiracy theorists, the wackos. Yeah, this would be the first the first conspiracy theorist that we've had on, isn't it? This will be the first person to actually come on the show to defend themselves after literally four years oh, of us wow. begging people to come on to defend themselves. Holy shit, you're right. Yeah. That'll so be well, he's, well, he's done his homework if he follows all four of us. That would probably mean he's listened to this show. Well, but okay, so again, then, if you truly thought that Charlie and I guess presumably the rest of us are members of a secret deadly whoa, cabal whoa. Wait, why no what why does well, he, why would he think that i'm not all a zionist kyle yeah, no, it's up. just charlie come on man you're oh, all yeah. guilty <laughs> by association what are you talking about <laughs> yeah i'm sorry yeah, whatever like, zionist. Charlie. yeah haha charlie is the one not me but for real if you were if you genuinely <laughs> thought that charlie was this underground operative dangerous person why would you try to wedge your way into a conversation with us rather than hide so he can't be scared. Because he's a journalist of the people, goddammit. He wants to get them the information. I still, He's going to come in and pick all our buttons. Okay, I'm just going to ask questions without watching this video like an asshole. Because I don't feel like listening to him anymore. But I just, I really want to know how he ties that back into you. And his problem with you. Yeah, I don't remember. When I was in the live stream, I stopped after he went on about triangles in the logos for 10 or 15 minutes. Hmm. I'm sure I'm at some point it has a tie-in. Something about porn would be my guess. Like, maybe he goes like, and you can see triangles in these vaginas, you know? Mm -hmm. This is where it all comes from, and he's trying to normalize this. Control our minds with interracial porn. Interracial porn? Yeah, that was the point he made. The interracial porn is programming viewers. Oh, so he's, like, racist? Into what? On top of it? Uh, from what I can gather, but he claims he's not. I don't know, but... Oh, well then, it's settled. He's, <laughs> as long as a racist says he's not racist. Then he also doesn't like lesbians clear. either, if you guys can believe what that. What the fuck? What? Yeah. But we just talked about how everyone oh, yeah, likes right. lesbians. He doesn't like them. What the too fuck? Many too many trans Too many guns. Wait, does he actually say he doesn't like lesbians? Yeah, like, in if you watch... So I found the clips from... The only reason I found any of these is from our podcast, episode 121, You Played Audio Clips... He was mad mm -hmm. about interracial porn programming us, and he was dis he was disgusted by lesbian porn as well. Okay, but not hmm. gay porn. Now, was he disgusted by lesbian porn, or was he disgusted about what lesbian porn? He did said to him? he said lesbians of all things was his words. What a sick human being! Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! What the oh, fuck? Right. Does he have like a typical YouTuber outro? No, they were just. I wanted to go back to playing music, and I accidentally. He DJs. Oh, on the I, side. I thought he had it, like that intro where it shows his name in like a three D graphic playing loud ass pop music. No, although I no, people like this. They don't like pop music, Andrew, because you know, if you're listening to a pop song and you watch the video, obviously, like, uh, WAP. If you see the video, mm. lots of triangles, lots of Zionist messaging, lots of subliminal messaging from the Freemasons who are very much into geometry of asses and tits specifically, and it normalizes whatever. I already right. feel drained, but I'm still down to have them on. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it's only going to be fun for like the first 30 minutes of his lunacy, then it's just going to be kind of grating. Maybe we can have him on for half an episode or something. How would we kick him out? Just ask him to leave. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but, well, you that's enough out of you, please. <laughs> I don't think he's going to stay against his will or against our will. Um, I wonder yeah, if we could I... like convince him of the opposite or change his mind and make him see that Charlie is not an evil, I don't know, IDF agent. Oh my god, Kaya, there's no fucking chance. This guy has been living his life in fear for decades of the Zionist overlords. There is no fucking chance. Hmm. Again, I don't know if it's fear or just a usual conspiracy theorist thing where he wants to be the one who figured it all out. Yeah, maybe it's a sense of narcissism would be my guess, but I couldn't tell you. It seems more like fear to me. Mm -hmm. From what it sounded like during the short snippets that Kai just played, it didn't sound like he disliked you. Does he... What do you mean? He called me a douchebag three times. 
Yeah, yeah, but he, he wants to. T- he well, wants you are to, like, kind of a douchebag. Let's be you. fair. He was like, he, you he are, wants to, like to hang out with you. You are nothing. You are a fuck douchebag. You are a, a yesterday's news. A, anyway, yeah, I don't think he likes. That's I'm just playing hard to get. He's just uh, bringing you down the level so he he can befriend you. <laughs> so I don't get that impression. Oh. So he's like, it's Sundare or whatever, where, you know... I don't like you negging, anyway, Baka. He's nagging. Yeah, okay, yeah. I see. Maybe. Maybe it's his long con to finally get on the podcast. Well, it sounds like it's working. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> if you're going to put 50 minutes into a fucking video like this, fair enough. Twice, not just once. Then, yeah, we'll have you on. I'm checking out his other videos right now. The Age of Tyrants, Golden Gate Bridge emitting creepy sound. <laughs> <laughs> you mean cars driving on it? Beware yes, the Jackson. twindemic. <laughs> twindemic, what? Probably spirit cooking. 33 ways to fool the sheeple. <laughs> He's like very anti SJW-esque videos but ties them in with some uh you know conspiracy theory stuff and he seems to be angry that it is called a conspiracy theory because to him I guess it's yeah. not just a theory it's completely proven and true one thing that I've noticed these people do they always mix in this absolute batshit insanity with objectively true things like Hollywood pedophilia as if for some reason people don't know about that and they're the only ones that know the truth so then they give you like a bunch of garbage, but one point that's factually accurate and provable. And then they just harp on that one. Like we were right about the Hollywood pedophiles. What makes you think we're right about or wrong about all this? Even yeah, though everyone people. knows about that. Yeah, kind of a difference between Hollywood pedophiles and like lizard people living in the earth. Yeah, I, but, but they yeah. always mix in something that's actually true. I'd enjoy to have this guy on an actual flat earther. It could be interesting to talk to these people and I just I feel like the only challenge would be not to be an asshole directly to their faces and turn it into a fucking drama debate. Yeah, because I don't want to do the fucking blood sports bullshit cringe. But yeah, there you go. Invitation sent out, you guys. So tune in next week or the next the, the week after, perhaps, too. We could have a whole bunch of like different conspiracy theorists on at the same time and have them argue and compete with each other. I They'd mean, all just fun. come to agreement on every conspiracy by the end of it. No, they wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Nope. You don't know these people then. Charlie, there's like f- uh, flat earther podcasts that are literally four hours long, and these guys will fight for four hours and argue and argue because there's different sects between these conspiracies, uh, between the theorists. I mean, just think of the flat earthers. I mean, some of them think there is a dome, some don't. Some think that the world is oh, carried on the back of a fucking god and something you can fall off the edge. Some argue you can't and there's an ice wall. You'll always turn back. It's impossible to flow, uh, fl- fall off because there's no gravity beyond the earth and yada yada. So they all make up their own individual bullshit. The only thing that they can agree on is that, you know, we're all sheep and being lied to. Okay. Fair. Yeah. But we'll agree with you, Jeff. Come on. All right, what else is new? Jackson, give us a topic. Uh, what? A topic? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, wait. They do uh, make a good multi- point in the chat, though, before we move on from this. If he does come on, Kaya... Please make sure beforehand he doesn't, like, preach about genocide or something. We obviously can't have that. Well, how, how are we going to limit that? Well, I guess we can what just edit say? it out. Kaya preaches about genocide every three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so it could no. be anything different. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, so what has, he said, what has he said about genocide? I don't remember now, because it was on his old channel, like, a year ago. I watched sure he wasn't saying, like, genocide is bad? No, it was something about... And the Zionist did you got triggered? He was going on about Zionist, Zionist shills or something and how there needed to be a genocide to purge the world of the evil overlords or some garbage. I don't quite remember, but it was something like really degenerate. And I imagine him saying things like that is what got his channel fucked. Huh. Like from the thumbnails, it doesn't look like he's an out and about Nazi. So maybe he's closeted and just slipped out or something. I don't know. Maybe he's like really call- old content. I don't know. 
Are you sure he wasn't accusing Zionists of genocide? Because that's the usual talking point with these people. That's very possible. Maybe mm -hmm. he was like making it like uh, talking as a Zionist. It's possible. I don't really remember, but it was something about like needing a genocide or something like absolutely insane. Hmm. Well, that sounds interesting, actually. <laughs> yeah, but for obvious reasons, I don't think we could have that. Mm hmm. Well, okay. Oh, Maybe we'll make it as, long as, we, as long as we don't advocate for genocide, I don't see the issue. It's still, it's still on our podcast, though. With a dude openly calling for a genocide, it wouldn't be good, Jackson. Is what I'm saying. We'd probably face the same problem. What if we, we can make it a bonus. said we disagree? <laughs> yeah, we'll disagree. figure it out. I'm just saying, like, we're going to need to be mindful of that. Sure. I, I, I mean, what, what are we going to do, though? Like, how, how do we... Stop that from happening. If he just comes on here, he has no, well, free well, will. He's going to spout it. First of all, I don't want to stop that. Okay, I don't want this guy no, holding no, no, no. back. I want the full something. lunacy. I want all of it. I want whatever fucking fucked up opinions this guy has, no matter how insane. But, you know, we, we'll just put it someplace that won't get us in trouble, even if we have to use a burner account. And then it'll be a nice okay. little bonus a for people. Account? We'll figure it out. Wait, what's a burner account going to do, though? The people still will still know it's us. Yeah, yeah it could just be a Patreon episode or something. No, I mean, or edited they'll know or it's we'll figure us, it out. Jackson, what, but Patreon I mean... Patreons currently fine with genocide, are they? I'm confused. Like, what's, no, what's but the, the I, point I mean, of... at least then, if the channel gets penalized, it'll just be some, you know, throwaway account that gets banned or something. Or we can just gotcha. do what I always do with my Doctor Loves and we can upload it on some fucking Google Drive and give people the link to the MP3 low-key, like, pirate radio. Or I, I can upload... Boys. I'll be right back. Speaking of piss, I could just put it on the Peapod. <laughs> <laughs> Superimpose some pissing sounds on it. Perfect. All right, Jackson, you were about to bring up a topic before J uh, Charlie rudely interrupted you. I was. I have some very... Very troubling, sad news. Actually, I don't, I don't want, I didn't want to be the bearer of bad news. I was hoping someone else would bring this up during the episode, and that kind of would be taken off my plate. But I have to be the bearer of bad news today, and I have to let you all know that it's with a he heavy heart that I announce that Dwayne the Rock Johnson has just announced on Instagram that his wife and two two daughters tested positive for COVID. Oh, shit. It's pretty fucked I don't know up. How I mean, it they, that sucks. They, yeah, that really sucks, man. I mean, they they probably have like a zero point zero 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 one percent chance of dying of it. Especially Jackson, the rock. I won't lie. That's scary. Okay. I won't lie. I I thought you were going to announce that they changed the so long gay Bowser line in the new Mario <laughs> remakes because that actually upset me. Wait, so, what? wait, so long gay bat what? So there's a Mario <laughs> 3D collection coming out. There's a Mario 3D collection. It's Super Mario 64, yeah. Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy. And based on initial game footage of it, a lot of people think that the Mario 64 version in the collection is a Japanese re-release called Super Mario Shindo, which added a bunch of changes and a bunch of, like, fixes for glitches and shit. And the biggest downside is it removes a bunch of glitches people use in speed running. It like fixes them. But the biggest problem is that instead of saying so long, gay Bowser, when you throw Bowser, he just goes bye bye. And it's the worst thing ever. It's so two things. It's just not worth buying. Two things. Why? Why did he say so long, gay Bowser to begin with? <laughs> uh, so it's him actually saying so long, King Bowser. But oh. with the audio compression and Mario's heavy cartoony accent, it sounds like so long, gay Bowser. So wait, oh. then that begets the question, why not just re-record the audio to sound like King yeah. Bowser? Uh, I don't know, but the whole point is that, like, uh, I don't know. It, they were, they uh, changed the voice clip. Allegedly, and that's they should have re-recorded re-recorded the line just to make it clearer and make him still say "so long, gay Bowser." Just enunciate the gay part of it. They should get Charles <laughs> Martinet without any Mario accent to just go in the studio and go "so long, gay Bowser" and just put that in the game. Let's replace every word with "gay." <laughs> <laughs> so Mario is a gay basher, or was? 
Well, to be fair, I guess, I mean, they're scared that, you know, upon release, Polygon, Kotaku were going to run their usual train on the game. And, yeah, I okay, mean, my, I, it's understandable for Nintendo, a company that wants to just avoid any and all possible yeah, controversy about anything. A company that anything. hates the gays. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah. And the, Nintendo when did Mario gays. 64 come out? Uh, 96, like, I think. Yeah, okay, 96, well, what if, 95. Well, maybe Bowser has since stopped being gay, who knows? But my second point he, was going to be... He found himself. He found Jesus. But why mm-hmm. remove the glitches? Isn't that going to fuck up the the entirety of the 64 speedrunning community? It's like part of the fun, isn't it? Yeah. Why do that? So, so Nintendo notoriously doesn't give a flying fuck about community fun with games like speedrunning or cha- or uh, fighting game rule sets or this and that. Like a good example is Smash Brothers. Nintendo in no goddamn way at all respects the fighting game community for Smash Brothers that hold actual tournaments and play the game yeah, long after it dies out. Well, that that, that aside... They were <laughs> all pedophiles they're... all the time, Jackson. There was yes, a long period were, where there were no pedophiles. They were Just only most pedophiles of most sometimes. Of the yeah. But the... The point is that they they have never <laughs> once given any, like, tools or, or respect or anything to, uh, like, fan ways that they have fun with games, whether it's speedrunning or tournaments or this and that. I mean, hell, fucking Smash Brothers, even though they've had their own rules for tournaments for years and years and years, when, when Nintendo introduces their own tournaments, they still have, like, goofy shit on and items and just don't care. So with them releasing this version of Mario 64, they probably just in no way give a shit about speedrunners. Yeah, they absolutely don't. That care. is a loud dog. Do you have a guest over, Charlie? No, I think a car just drove by. Oh. Well, that sucks. But on the bright side, I guess there's an upside that now speedrunners get to replay the game and find all new glitches. That sounds yeah, like Yeah, I'm sure hopefully. there'll be any new routes discovered, which will be kind of cool. Hopefully, mm. yeah. Okay, well, I'm excited. I'm down to play Sunshine and Galaxy. Jackson, also, do you have any um, questions? Sorry, go uh, ahead. I had one questions. last topic. It's, oh. it's just related while we're talking. I thought you meant like me personally had any questions no. about the Nintendo topic. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. about the new Marios. While no. we're on the subject of game releases, the only other thing I wanted to bring up is, uh, Charlie, you played the new Avengers game. Did you get to Agreeable Grunt? I don't remember, man. That that, like, that that game was so fucking boring. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Agreeable grunt may be my favorite line in any video game ever. Now, so there's a there's a scene in the new Avengers game, which is a broken piece of shit, where Black broken, Widow but, and the it's Hulk. Not yeah, it is. It's no, got it's a ton of like glitches and crashes and. I don't anyway, have a single like, optimized. It, 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 yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not part of my point. So Black Widow and and the Hulk are running through like this giant base and there's they're like you know they're fighting and they're going through and black widow goes you doing okay there hulk and they forgot to add hulk's voice line and instead left in the placeholder placeholder voice lines so the hulk in like a microsoft text to speech voice goes agreeable grunt and it's just in the game as is that's cute it's extremely it's a goofy nice little easter egg <laughs> if you're paying attention <laughs> so it's there for all the true fans of Marvel Comics. I remember an Avengers Endgame game when he said Hulk. agreeable grunt to Thanos. It was epic. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> the game is basically like uh, the the video game version of cold porridge. <laughs> Damn, Jackson. Wow. Know, that was that that felt mean. <laughs> but <laughs> honest. Brutally honest. It, it, like the first two hours, I was like, all right, this is pretty decent. This is better than I thought. And then it just continued exactly the same for like 10 hours. And I was just bored. Uh, it's just boring game. No substance whatsoever. It is so fucking boring. Just the same thing over and over again. And there's no, there's no, you can tell there's like no kind of passion or... Or it's just like designed by studio executives, uh, by by, you know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, following whatever's yeah. popular, the trend, like Destiny style bounties and shit. To be fair, yeah. and the really problem is story. that um, go ahead. I was gonna say now that their movies are fucking indefinitely put on ice, they they have to make money someplace, you know. Yeah. Video games might the, as well. The problem just pump is those that out. um. The chat will probably remind me, the studio that made this game 
made Crystal a Dynamics. pretty good game. Yeah, what did they make before this? I think Hit Deus Ex. of the Tomb Raider. No, Jesus, and they made Hitman. What? Yeah, no, Crystal that's, Crystal that's Dynamics IO. Makes IO. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, Hitman, you're, you're Hitman was made by IOI. Crystal Dynamics definitely made Rise of the Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Tomb Raider and such. The new Tomb Raiders. Yeah. Uh, um, you're right. I did get them mixed up. I so so Hitman. either way, if, so let's say it was Tomb Raider. So the problem is that they made Tomb Raider and like had a pretty good track record, but now this game is supposed to have con continued development and like DLC. So even though this game's a big pile of shit, they're going to be like focusing on that for the next year or so. So enjoy not getting any other games from them. Well, that's Holy what we shit. said about Anthem too for like when Anthem released. Like people were like, yeah, but don't worry, Anthem will be better in six months and then Bioware never put out an update for it. They just abandoned <laughs> it immediately. Oh, uh, yeah. So uh, it couldn't have happened happen. to a better community. Fuck the Anthem community. <laughs> 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 All I'm saying is, if you haven't seen the agreeable grunt clip, go look it up, because it's way funnier than I'm describing it. I love that clip so much, I've watched it like 30 times. Bioware is such a fucking useless company now. You know, did They're you terrible. guys did you guys see that their new Dragon Age announcement trailer? Like that their big There's a new one? reveal for the year. Yeah, that they just announced they like it. Well, they announced that it was happening early this year, but they put out a trailer uh, that was like hyped up. Uh, a few weeks ago I think it was mm -hmm. a week ago and it was basically just concept art just like con it was a slideshow of concept art and that's all it was <laughs> that's the whole trailer was just concept art which means that the game is not <laughs> going to be out for like another three years I don't know what happened to that studio well they lost everybody like everyone that made their good games isn't there anymore no, I, don't, I like, don't know who the fuck's on this team anymore but it's just a bunch of people that don't know what they're doing no, I think there's still like Casey Hudson and such is still there. I forget the the main writer's name, but I'm pretty sure he's still there. Well, all the know. writing isn't gonna save shit like Mass Effect Andromeda. I mean, or writing for that writing could have definitely been a lot better for that game. No, I meant like the but facial yeah. animations and the animations and well, the tech in general, everything. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, this question comes from Paul Hardrick. If y'all had to be a foot soldier in a past major war, uh, on the losing side, what war would you choose? None. Why would we choose a losing? The yeah, absolute fuck. most recent conflict of the smallest possible battle, so that way I can just go home. It says major war. Classified. Is the war on terror not a major war? I don't the know. The war on drugs. Who lost? Yeah, the war. I'd be a politician oh, on the war on drugs. That's a great answer. I like that, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to join in on that one. <laughs> wait, wait, who lost in the war on drugs? The cops? Everyone. Everybody. The, yeah, the war on drugs the was a massive waste of money. Well, the war on drugs was a massive, massive waste of money and didn't in any way like get drugs off the street or protect anybody. Just did nothing but wasted government money and uh, resources. Big well, failure. the patron here is making a good point. Blurry line said they said foot soldiers, so I guess in the as a foot soldier in the war on drugs, you'd be some sort of a, I don't know, ATF agent who gets shot by cartel hitmen. So maybe I don't want to be part of that war. I mean, that's still. Oh, uh, actually, no. Going up against a cartel would be pretty brutal, I guess. Yeah. What's yeah. the cleanest war that was ever fought? Like there was honor involved like they wouldn't just kill you if you surrendered because i just surrendered Probably like something in the None. bushido era is that actually no, true I, I i've always like that i think that's been a misconception that the samurai were all noble and heroic and stuff i think they were also extremely brutal i think you're just looking at like games like uh ghost of tsushima and taking that for fact yeah the japanese are notorious for committing a shitload of war crimes yeah. during world war ii Oh, yeah, you don't want to lose well, against them, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think samurai were fighting in World War II. That's <laughs> uh, fair. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, before that, the same thing. <laughs> I, may, I may have mis messed up the eras in my head a little bit there, but Japan... <laughs> no one did they lost. They were <laughs> running yeah, into Japan... the battlefields with swords out. <laughs> Japanese soldiers, though, are, are definitely notorious for doing some really heinous shit during war Yeah, because, uh, like, how do you go from being all honorable and like only fighting honorable battles and such 
to then kamikaze plane bombing uh, like ships. You know what I mean? Like there's no honor in kamikaze. Well, the, actually, kamikaze is all about honor because the idea is that you don't want to be captured and you don't want to fail your mission. So you give your entire life to That's do damage honor. to the enemy. That's being no, I, I'm pretty sure kamikaze wasn't about honor as much as it was about fucking PCP that they gave the pilots beforehand and told them that they have to die for their mother yeah. nation. <laughs> and also the fact their planes were cheap pieces of shit that didn't stand a chance and all sorts. I mean, it's a whole World War II history's got so much nuance and depth to it. We could pick any like piece if, of it apart. And if you ever feel like you want to lose against the Japanese, just Google the rape of Nanking, and I can guarantee you, you're not gonna <laughs> like it. You're not gonna want to lose against them. Classic, but it was honorable. <laughs> True. It was yeah, in Japan it's called the honorable rape of Nanking. <laughs> <laughs> Honorably ripped babies out of their mother's wombs as they were getting raped oh. and burnt alive. Oh boy. Love no, I don't know. Quite talk. like that. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, so I guess hmm. all four of us would want to be a foot soldier during the rape of Nanking and <laughs> well, <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's our answer. <laughs> I, I don't know what the least bloody war has been or the least dangerous war to be a part of. Probably some kind of internet war, if you can count no. those. Uh, what the fuck? I would have what, liked to be on the losing side. They absolutely the, don't uh, count. I, why? Those EVE Online battles? Kind of historic. Yeah. I wouldn't mind losing that. I don't no, care. bullshit. That's not a major war. And you'd war. be an actual foot soldier. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, what else you got, Jackson, that doesn't expose our lack of historical knowledge? <laughs> uh, James asks, if you could keep any supernatural or mythological creature as a pet bodyguard <clears throat> companion, what would you choose and why? It can be from any media, TV shows, myths, video games, etc. I would do research on what could transform into anything and pick that. Oh my god, that's such a lame answer. It is, but it's the right answer. Mm, the nine-tailed fox. <laughs> sure, God, you're, you're, a fucking, you're sad. A you're fucking, fucking <laughs> ditto from Pokemon. Just the fact that it would give me oh, yeah. literally anything. Uh, I'll go with that dog from Harry Potter, Sorcerer's Stone. See, Server but I could dog. have the dog and more. Ditto can only emulate Pokemon. Well, yeah. again, I'd have to find something from mythology that can turn into anything. There's definitely things that can do that. Well, but if you don't know it well, right now, you're not getting it. Fuck, you're right. Yeah. Uh, also, mm. does it matter what you pick? Because no one else is going to have a fucking, uh, you know, demon guardian. You can just pick the shittiest Pokemon. It's not like the rest of mankind is going to have it. You're still ahead. Yeah. What would you choose, Jackson? U4. Uh, U3. I don't know why, but all I could think about is the flying carpet from Aladdin. I think that would be pretty what cool. The is that a creature? A mythological creature. Yeah. Uh, kind it's of, wasn't supernatural, it alive? though, right? Yeah, it's, it's not a supernatural alive. creature either. It is absolutely alive. He taught, yeah. He's like friends with Aladdin. He shows emotion. Yeah, it has attitude. Yeah, but it could very well be a human being's soul trapped in the carpet. You don't know that it's what a creature. <laughs> what, wait, well, humans are creatures too. Yeah, uh, that's that's that cheating. Counts. That's cheating. Yeah. Well, well, at that point, then I'll I'll choose to have Zeus be my bodyguard. Okay, be fine then I choose that. Superman. Oh fuck you! I <laughs> I choose One Punch Man. I choose God. Okay. Ooh, that's, come at that's, me. God's a pussy. That's, that's the worst answer. That's too far. I tip my fedora to that. Yeah. Get it? He's fictional. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All if right. I have to pick something that I that I know of, then I'd probably pick... I'd probably pick, like, some super badass demon, because I feel like... I mean, like, that could... I don't know. Like the chupacabra? That could be cool. No, no, like a big hulking like motherfucker from hell like you'd see in Doom. I think that'd be awesome to have as like a like a bodyguard. Like seriously, imagine you walk into a club and following behind you is like a ten foot tall giant ass demon in a fucking tux with a with sunglasses on made for him. You wouldn't fuck with that. You wouldn't yeah, even no go one near would that. Talk to you. You'd be alone. 
Why would you even go to a club? Because all the women would be like, oh, fuck, he's got a demon that's so hot. <laughs> no awesome. woman would say that. <laughs> he's got a demon that's so hot. <laughs> There's a demon inside him. It's, a, it's my MySpace bio. <laughs> <laughs> that's my answer I'd have, I a, guess I would have a cool it, strong demon bodyguard there you go if you're not going to accept the magic carpet I'll have to change my answer to Tinky Winky from the Teletubbies because <laughs> <laughs> it's always been a lifelong dream of mine <laughs> uh, to frolic in the hills of the Teletubby land what was that place called? Winkyville or something I don't yeah. know Winky Winky land yeah it was like Teletubby Will and they had that little vacuum that made all those sucking noises. Actually, yeah, I'd choose the vacuum. No, I no, know why. just a vacuum. No, I'm going back to Tinky Winky. <laughs> just a normal vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A sentient vacuum, though. All right, do you uh, have we want to do one more question? question? Um, Michael J. Morrow asks if the entire planet, these are weird questions, if the entire planet was forced to train with swords, what kind of sword would you choose and why? Didn't they prove that? I don't know. No, didn't they prove that like a broadsword is just better than every other sword because it bashes the shit out of it and destroys other swords? That's what like there's no point in using any other sword. It's big. Yeah, it's slow. It doesn't matter if you if we cla like if I swing a broadsword at you, you're fucked. Because like even no, if you block if it, it's gonna little, shatter your sword. Not if I have a small little dagger and I go in real quick and <laughs> cut, cut your hand off <laughs> while you're swinging I, or something. I, I f there was some fucking thing where they were like, oh, you know, katanas are dog shit compared to actual swords, and here's why. And they were like, look, a broadsword, it just breaks the shit out of it. Like who cares? I definitely think faster would be better. Hmm. Mm. Well, depends. Can you dodge the broadsword? Yeah, it's like a broadsword is not slow. You know, it's not like a fucking RPG like Dark Souls where you're swinging it at two sec like two miles per hour. Like you can actually be quick with it, especially if you're poking and stabbing with it. It's longer, bigger, thicker. Swords, yeah, swords are meant to be poked, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're meant to go for like the little rivets in the armor or whatever, like the the creases towards the shoulders or whatever wherever like mm -hmm. the weakest links in the armor is that's where you poke yeah that was yeah, another pigs. reason that like dinky ass swords phased out because people started wearing armor in combat and it's like well this isn't gonna do jack shit i need to like like part of the point of broadswords was to break bones underneath the armor by just clubbing them with it sometimes <laughs> and then people started bringing out ak-47s and so yeah, man, it's like, useless. who needs swords anymore? <laughs> then the Japanese got fighter planes. <laughs> it was all over from there. And then someone brought a nuke. Yeah, we don't talk about that. Yeah, yeah we don't so like we that. Can't, we can't pick, like, sci-fi shit or fantasy stuff, like lightsabers. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, I was definitely going to go, like, a lightsaber, because I, I think that's yeah. technically a sword, right? Well, a lightsaber is like the ultimate sword when you think about it. It cuts through absolutely anything. So. No, wait. It can't cut through that red armor they had in the new movies. Yeah, that was different. Cuts through anything except red stuff. So, it's still pretty good. You need the lightsaber too for that. <laughs> the upgraded edition. I think I'd suck with the sword. Probably just accidentally hit my own arms off. Or fall on it by accident after stumbling. Yeah, swords are kind of heavy too. It'd be a nuisance. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Wait, yeah. whoa! Lights, lightsabers would be light as fuck. It's just light. Yeah, but most swords are heavy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, it's great very sword. easy to you'd overswing a sword up. if you don't know what you're doing. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, I'd, any other contributions to this question before we end the episode? I just take a scalpel, pick that, and train my whole life, and then just be a really rich surgeon. I don't even have to fight. It's genius. Wow. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick a chef's knife, and I'll just become a world-class cook. There you go. Yeah. Who said we have to fight? He just said, yeah. what blade yeah. would you choose to train in? That's mine. I want to pursue a profession. The pen is mightier scimitar. than a sword, after all. Yeah, I we don't have to be soldiers. Letters. In a world with only swords, we don't have to be soldiers. We can pick useful blades. Charlie can cut hair, learn scissors. <laughs> Jackson 
It's a Jackson, razor. you can learn, uh, I don't know, be a butcher, get like a meat cleaver, and I'll take a chef's knife, and Kaya gets uh, a... What was the one you said? Yeah, scalpel and be a doctor. There. Perfect. I think that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. yeah. Contributing members of society. Nice people. Yeah. It's not all about violence, you fucking savages listening. God. I still want my pen, but all right. I will, we'll end <laughs> the episode here. Um, thank you, everyone, for listening. Uh, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash the official podcast with bonus episodes. Go check that out if you feel so inclined. Thank you to my co-host. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank Bye. you.